there's a problem and it's right about there so today I'm trapping for the city I live in they're having some bad problems these beaver here have been doing some major damage a giant dam right there there's another dam back here <clears throat> and what it's doing is it's saturating there's a big area over here where they um, dump all their snow during the winter time out of the parking lots and you know city lots and stuff in town and the beaver have saturated the ground so far up now that when it gets warm out at all I mean and it didn't freeze a whole lot this winter the ground didn't vehicles are sinking so on and so forth but anyway um, yeah so there's a big dam right there and I'm looking at this dam my first thoughts yesterday when I drove by here was I'm just gonna rip a chunk of this dam out you know rip a chunk of the dam out put a couple footholds in there but I do not think that that is going to work you know as well as I had hoped but I did find a spot right down here that's been open but it's froze because it's been cold the last like four days but starting today I think the low 20 tonight is gonna be 26 degrees okay and then the low tomorrow night is like 36 and it just it's not gonna get cold again like the two-week forecast is highs in the 50s and 60s and lows in the 40s so the winter is gone I'll, I'll even say it winter's gone here now but I'm just thinking you know I could get to that lodge and try and set the run on the lodge but I think I'm gonna keep it interesting and go back here and set a couple footholds let's try that you guys Woo. All right, you guys, walking the line. I think there are only two big beaver in here. It's not a very big lodge, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's only two big beaver in here, okay? So there's a number of sets I can put in here. And the one, I'm not gonna do it today. We're gonna see what happens on tomorrow's check. But, got those two stakes. I got two Bridger number fives right here. All right. <clears throat> so what I have done is I come over to the dam here and I rip this hole in the dam. Okay. I will guarantee you tonight these beaver, or today sometime, these beaver are going to come out of the lodge. Just looking at the lodge, you guys, I actually tried to walk over to it. <clears throat> and... I, I couldn't, I mean, I could probably get a way around to it, but right now it's just not happening. I can see, man, trees cut off anywhere, everywhere. Anyway, so these beaver, they're gonna pop up. They're gonna come out right here. They're gonna come down over here. You can already see the water moving under the ice and they're gonna swim right in there, pop up right there and plug that hole up. That's their plan. If I wanted to, man, I could, <clears throat> I've, it's it's another it's another set I've used on nuisance beaver like this before. I could I could cut that out a little bit more. Put a 330 under the ice. Beaver will come in, bam, dead on the head. But we're not going to try that today. Today I'm going to put in these two Bridger number fives. I've I've made a a caster mound here, you guys. So I've, I've dug it back a little bit. So these beavers are gonna be kind of channeled coming into this little hole here. I'm gonna guard it with those two bridger number fives. I'm gonna do one on each side with the drowning rod out each other side, okay? <clears throat> when you're doing, if you're doing like something by a dam, you don't, you know, you don't want your trap right up in a couple inches of water because they're coming in with grass and mud and sticks and they're gonna shove that right in your trap, you know? You actually want that off a little bit of a ledge, maybe like four to six inches of water. So when they get up to there, they're gonna drop that stuff, put their feet down in that in that trap. Here, <clears throat> kind of same thing with this. They're gonna swim up. I'm actually gonna put the stick out here. I might put out a couple poking sticks. They're come up here, it's probably four inches deep. Drop a front foot in that trap, get caught and shoot down the zip line. But to make it even better, right here on this tree, right? here I'm putting my trail camera up in HD video mode see if we can get these beaver going down and getting caught or even I mean just reacting to the set so yeah all right well I'm gonna get on some of this here all right you guys 
Got both of these Bridger number fives ready. <laughs> Gotta be careful, okay? One droning. One droner is going over here. Make sure that trap stays away from your body. You don't want that slapped on your belly or something. It'll hurt a lot, like a lot. Okay, shove that in the bottom. Grab a T-bar steak here. I want, that's down the mud a long ways, but I want this up a little bit, so I ain't got to uh, worry about it pinching on the bottom when this trap fires. Bed this trap right here. Offset it just a little bit. That pan is right about here. Got this second bridger. Oh. Now I welded these ones up myself, you guys, just so you know. There are kits where you don't need to, like no, like non-welding kits, you know, if you if that's what you really want or you need or whatever, that's not a problem. You can find them online at different places. Okay, that one's down in the bottom a long ways. Grab this other key bar here. Down on the bottom too as well. Same thing, this one. Keep it off the bottom a little bit. Okay. Bed this other number five right next to the other one here. Like so. You want to make sure the jaws aren't touching. Feel this one here. Yep, the jar, jaws are not touching on either one of these traps. Oops, sorry. I just, I just ran my hand around the edge of the jaws to make sure they weren't touching at all. So now, both these bridger number fives are set. And what I really want is, I want this beaver to come right up the middle here. I should say these beavers would be great if I get both of them. That trap is right there. That's that's about where I want it. See, I'm looking at my pan, and I want these beaver to come up. They're gonna bump this their nose, and they're gonna put their feet down. Okay, and that's exactly what I want. All right, you guys. These traps are set, but I don't. I don't, don't ever, I would never, I never feel comfortable leaving, you don't want to leave metal showing, you know, usually like the top of a stake or anything if you don't have to. That also help, helps as a guide, to guide these beaver into your set. Put some mud and stuff here. Grab a little more mud, baby. Uh, for this side over here. Like that. Gosh, you know, I think since these are nuisance beaver, these beaver are going to travel right past this caster mound first, but I think I'm going to add, I think I might as well add a 330 over here, you guys. All right, you guys, this will be quick and easy. Make sure there's no junk in my camera here. Right? For the most part, anyway. All right. I got a T-bar steak here. A couple of these guys. Okay. Beaver's gonna come in right through there if they make it past my other traps or maybe they might scoot right past them to come to this flowing water. You just never know. Okay.
undo your safeties. Guys, wire your safeties up. It takes you two seconds. I see a lot of people not wiring their safeties up. I mean, they might not catch, but if you do this, you're guaranteed that they are not gonna catch. Cause I see people, they're hanging them on the trap here and they can, I mean, they, they can honestly catch. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Beaver's gonna come in right there. I should have brought my axe back. There we go. Okay. Put a bunch of water on there, maybe. All right. It's gonna be simple. All right. Two stakes. One through each spring. sand or mud down there make it kind of difficult shove that at the bottom there we go there we go it's really all that needs to be done you want it right under the ice so just like that Put my stake in here and wire it off. There we go. Oh, rocks. There we go. Okay. That and that. And one other thing that I'm gonna do here. It might not matter, but I'm just gonna put a stick here. A couple sticks here. Break up the shadow of the trap. There we go. <sighs> All right, that 330 is set. These number fives are set. And I'm about to put up this deer camera. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you guys can see my bridgers right there. No. Beaver's gonna come up, drop a foot in either one. And that's gonna be the end of it, hopefully. Anyway, I'll get this camera put up quick. All right, two Bridger number fives on drowning rods. Browning Micro HD camera, you guys. That's what I've been using for all my videos, my deer hunting videos, everything. Um, I got it set on two minute videos, ultra HD, like the best of the best. I got a 32 gigabyte card in there and it's it'll make 42 videos at two minutes. So 84 minutes of high definition video, hopefully. We can get a beaver coming up here and getting caught in one of these traps. All right, well, we'll check it out tomorrow. Approaching my caster mound here, okay. Let's see here. Well, <clears throat> so my 330 is right here. There is nothing in it. Apparently, all the ice melted here yesterday. Okay. <clears throat> so they, I don't know, they didn't plug it back up. But going over my setup here. There is a beaver right there. Both of my bridgers are gone. So I don't know if that one beaver sprung both the traps or what. But <clears throat> I am going to uh, pull this camera off right now. Look at the video in my truck. My gloves are actually warming up inside and then we're going to I'm gonna come back and pull this beaver and look at it. It looks like about a two-year-old, and I expected a, a couple of two-year-olds in this lodge. So that's a good sign, you guys. 
all right you guys so got this beaver right here it's uh like i said it's not a it's not a giant beaver or anything got it in both traps apparently <laughs> oh. got this beaver in both traps one back foot one front foot here is this beaver gosh <laughs> feet actually gosh I this isn't a very big beaver I mean I'm not it looks God it looks like a looks like last year's beaver I could be wrong but on my video here I caught this beaver and it made it about halfway down the drowning wire and then drowned um, and another beaver was swimming around here afterwards a really big looking beaver so i don't know if that means there's you know more like numbers in here or if that was one of the adults is that even possible gosh i don't know you guys well i'm going to reset this trap here and leave the camera on it and i'm actually going to move one of these footholds to the other side of the dam over here so yeah well that's one beaver down All right, everybody. So, check number two on this lodge here. Um, I caught a beaver in front of the camera yesterday over there, and those traps are a little too close together, so I reset one on the camera, and I moved another one over this dam here, another dam break set. Right there's a big beaver floating. Big beaver floating right there. Foot, front foot catch on that drowning rod. Couldn't get a better catch. I'm gonna go check this other trap over here and then we're gonna pull this beaver out and reset it. <clears throat> I also doctored up my my uh, 330 set over here. I don't know if there's any more beaver in here or not. Nothing in my 330. And nothing in my foothold down there. That kind of tells me that that was the only other beaver in here. I mean, that's going to be a big beaver, and the other one's a pretty small one. But I've seen mismatched pairs like that before. Okay. Huh. We'll go. We'll go pull this one out and reset it anyway. But I, I think that was the only two beaver that were in here. <clears throat> when there's a when there's a first two year, you know, lodge like this. The pair can be mismatched and just weird sized, you know. <clears throat> right. So, got this where they've been. I got a little, just ripped a small spot out of the dam here. There's my T bar stick. Oh, my drowning rod like this oh, it's like fishing Ooh, that's a big beaver you guys yep big female is what it is right see that front catch front catch and the beaver wow oh these, you know, these traps when I first set them were kind of rusty. Now look at them, they're just all, you know, kind of battle-worn and looking. We're gonna pull this beaver oh, up on the dam here. Like I said, that's, you know, and that's not even a, I mean, it's not a monster. You know, it's a, that's probably a two-year-old that's, you know, a two-year-old female. Oh. 
we're gonna reset this just in case we'll check it again tomorrow but if there's no action here tomorrow I'm gonna say the beavers are history oh man those traps got some power to them all right that bridger number five reset That's a good part about these drowning rods, you know. If you don't think it's far enough out or so on and so forth, just pull it out and shove it back in the ground down there. There we go. Got it right back out where I had it. Shove this bugger down into the bottom here, like it was before. Oh, that easy, you guys. All right. So, this spot on the dam is dug out. I dug it out maybe four to six inches deep right here because if, if, if there is another beaver in here you know it's gonna it's gonna come up here with a mouthful of mud and crap and shove it right into this hole here but if this trap here's in like four inches of water they're gonna put their front feet down to brace themselves and that beaver's gonna get caught right in that number five right there anyway yeah Another big beaver down. This is a good one because that's the big female. And they just really been, well look at this this ditch here. They ripped the dam out. So there's like five dams down this thing that they've ripped out numerous times. So no catch here tomorrow. I'm gonna call the city and let them know that the beaver have been removed. And uh, yeah, that's about it you guys. Well. I'll be back tomorrow regardless if I get another beaver or not. Alright you guys. Here for another check on this lodge. It probably gonna be the last one. Yeah, there's had a big beaver here yesterday or nothing in it today. I didn't suspect there was another beaver left here, but you just never know. I don't see any broken ice. Nothing like that. Nothing on my 330 over there. Means I can pull these traps anyway. Yep, and nothing in this number five here. Okay, well, we're gonna check the video on this camera, see if uh, there's something we can add or we can put online for you guys to see. And uh, yeah, chunk of the dam's open. This was actually pretty easy i was you know surprised man they ripped they had they had multiple dams down here just two beaver you guys yeah <sighs> crazy all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do have a lot more beaver trap and stuff coming up here guys it's gonna warm up i am gonna get out in the boat here pretty soon or get fishing in open water here pretty soon so thanks for watching please like share subscribe